What's up YouTube? So it has been a hot minute since I uploaded. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a couple of my favorites that I have in my gym bag. Basically, what's in my gym bag. It is a Cal Pack. If you guys aren't familiar with Cal Pack, they actually have a luggage line. They have really fashionable like luggage gear. So this bag is pretty massive. There is this side pocket here that's on the front side of the bag. This larger zipper here and it has a large zipper on the bottom. I really, really enjoy having this bigger compartment towards the bottom because I can store my shoes or any like dirty gym clothes that I have. And if you're somebody that goes to the gym, you know, in the morning before work or even after work, you're able to fit a ton of stuff in here, which is super convenient. The back side of this has also a kind of like a velcro, not a pocket because it kind of goes through both ends. I have no clue what this is for. If y'all know what this is for, let me know because I have no idea what the purpose of this is. It does have this, these two handles on top of the back, then it does have this larger strap. But first things first, what I cannot go to the gym without are my headphones. These Bose headphones. I used to have the Beats by Dre wireless ones, the one that kind of like looped over your ear. I had those for quite some time. Those were my first pair of wireless headphones and I love them, but I lost them. I eyeballed these for quite some time. I was very hesitant in getting these only because they didn't have the like wrap around that the Beats usually do, but let me tell you, once they're in, they're in. I had a an issue with the original ones that I came with because my ear is pretty small and because of the tragus there's like a little piercing that kind of goes a little bit into your ear. It caused it to you know kind of be really uncomfortable for me at first because the earbud was really large but they actually come with a small and a large adjustable little earbuds that you can actually remove so I found that to be really really convenient for me because you know I have smaller ears and then my tragus is pierced so yeah. Once you have these in you can't hear anything. I really, really like the little um, carrying pouch that it comes with because it comes with like this little hooky thingy that you can like clip onto your keys, you can clip onto your gym bag. Usually, you know, clip this right there. I highly recommend you guys getting a lock. I got this one at Walgreens. No, I got this one at Walmart. I think it was like two to three bucks. I used to have the ones that required turning left and then turning right and then I'm like I don't have time for that. One because I want to go to the gym, get in, get out and even after your workout sometimes if you have like a pretty intense workout and you're like trying to open your locker and you can't even open the locker because you're so shaky from all the lifting you've done and your mind's like oh my gosh you know that's just probably an issue I have but that's okay. I've come to find out that having gum while I work out kind of dehydrates me. I sometimes chew gum during my workout, sometimes I don't. Uh, the other thing that I do have in my bag is my headphone charger. I got to the gym like two days ago, put my headphones in, press the button, and usually it like tells you the percentage that it's on. And I thought to myself, well, it was fully charged when I, you know, I had them, so why aren't they working? <laughs> my headphones were dead. It's crucial not to have your headphones charged when you go to the gym and, you know, you go to the gym ready to lift and you don't have your headphones. The next thing that I have in my bag is this Pro Stack little container. These are awesome because you're able to carry your protein powder, your vitamins, basically anything gym related gym supplements that you have and you can just pop them right in here. If you guys aren't familiar with the blender bottles, like water bottle containers that have the little springy inside, they come with this. There's some that you're able to like screw on and then there's some that you're able to include into like the top of it. I got these at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is reusable, so it's super environmental friendly. Up next is my water bottle. I have such a big issue with drinking water sometimes that I always have to carry a bigger jug or something that has liquids in it only because I'm really bad at drinking water. I used to be really good, but I don't know. If I don't have water with me throughout the day, I just don't drink it. I forget to. Drinking water when you're working out or lifting it is extremely crucial because you can cramp up during your workout and it's the worst feeling ever. Water, you need H2O. Up next is the high volume from Pea Science. I have really found that the high volume really helps with my pump. It's really good to open up your blood flow for when you're lifting. This is caffeine free. This one and 
This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just bought them because I wanted to try them out for myself, so yeah. Prolific is a pre-workout from P Science as well. I've had this about twice. Um, I'm not that big on pre-workout only because pre-workout's pretty intense. If you haven't had it, it's like an insane amount of caffeine and you get super pumped and sometimes I go to the gym extremely late and it's really difficult for me to try to find some, you know, some time to go to sleep after it because I'm extremely wired and my head's just in like a billion and one places. This actually doesn't give you any extreme jitteriness or the feeling of being extremely itchy and i'll be putting all of these products that i've got in the description box below so if you guys have any questions just go ahead and check out the description box and that'll basically have all that information amino acids are the number one protein building block of your muscles you know acids are basically bcaa's that help in muscle recovery i don't find myself drinking this as often as i used to only because when i do drink it i probably put about half of a scoop into my water during my workout and it's usually during or after when i do drink it but it is extremely sweet this is in the flavor peach nectar and i only find myself being more thirsty after drinking this only because i'm probably not drinking enough water this is really awesome for those who you know have a really big sweet tooth or you enjoy drinking like arizona's vitamin water and stuff like that this is a really good alternative for that and you can even drink this when you're not even working out so you don't necessarily have to drink it when you're working out the protein that i'm currently taking right now is also from p science it is the vegan series and it's in the flavor i believe vanilla indulgence i love it the only reason why i do do the vegan series is because i'm a little bit lactose intolerant so if you give me dairy you'll find me in the restroom for like the next two hours tmi melissa but it's true let's see what else do i have in here ah Fit simply resistant bands. I went ahead and purchased these bands from Amazon. These are about, I believe, between the price range of 10 to 15 bucks, and they have different types of resistant bands in there as well. This is another favorite that I have. I only use this on the days that I am really sore. This is a massage roller to massage, you know, your leg. To have like somebody just kind of, you know, use it on you and always have an extra hair tie in your gym bag getting to the gym and knowing you don't have a hair tie is probably one of the worst feelings ever okay. so there is the number one gym accessory that i absolutely loved and it changed the game for hip thrusts if you're not aware hip thrusting has to be one of my favorite exercises to really activate and really target my glute muscles but i lost it or i left it at the gym it's a squat pad you're able to put around the barbell for extra cushion and when you're thrusting you're usually supposed to place the bar around your groin region and if you're thrusting pretty heavy weight putting that weight on your groin region put so much unwanted pressure that it hurts so if you don't already have a squat pad i do really recommend you guys are grabbing one i will put an image here or put an image here or somewhere where it fits in this screen if you don't want to invest into a squat pad you don't necessarily have to if your gym has mats you can go ahead and fold the mat up use it for hip thrusting as well that's what i am currently doing without the squat pad because i lost it and my heart was very sad when i did lose it so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, my name's Melissa and welcome to my channel. I will see you guys till next time until my next video. Bye guys. I just went blank.